Welcome back. Today we are talking about syllable division, how we decide, divide longer words into syllables to help us both read them and spell them. In our last lesson, we talked about a syllable being a word or word part with one vowel sound. We said it could have more than one vowel when it is spelled, but it has only one vowel sound, and that's what we're listening for. We talked about closed syllables. We talked about open, closed, and silent E. Today we are focusing on focusing on closed syllables, which we discussed was one vowel followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is short, which means it says it's sound. So it's going to say a, i, e, a, or a. Uh. Those are the short vowel sounds. So our rule today that we are learning about is the rabbit rule. This is the rabbit rule of syllable division. And our rule is when two consonants come between two vowels, we divide between the consonants. So remember our vowels are A, E, I, O, U, sometimes Y, and everything else is a consonant. So when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. And you can see in rabbit, I have my vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. So I divided right between those consonants. So my first syllable is rab. My second syllable is bit. So I have rabbit. So rabbit. Our rule again is when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. Say that with me. When two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. And let's go ahead and practice a few of these. So, starting up here, we're going to look for our first vowel. And where is our first vowel? Our first vowel is the U. And then we have consonant, consonant, vowel. And this is easy because we've got the two Fs right there together. So where am I going to divide? Right between the consonants, right between the two Fs. And I'm going to scoop it. My first syllable is muff. We can sound it out, mm, ah. It's a closed syllable. And my second syllable is thin. So if I put them together, I have muffin. You might eat a muffin for breakfast. Moving on to this word. Where is my first vowel? The I is our first vowel. T is a consonant. T is a consonant. And our E is a vowel. So where am I going to divide it? Rabbit rule. When two consonants come between the two vowels, we're dividing between the consonants. And then I'm going to scoop it. My first syllable is kit. My second syllable is ten. So I have kitten. A kitten is a baby cat. Moving down here, where's my first vowel? U. And then I get to consonant, consonant, vowel. And in this word, I, my consonants are T and L. It's not the same two consonants like I had in my first words. I have two different consonants, but I still have two consonants. So my rule is when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. So I'm going to divide between the T and the L, and I'm going to scoop it. My first syllable is cut. My second syllable is let, cutlet, like a chicken cutlet. You might eat that for dinner. Moving over here, my first vowel is A. My C is a consonant. My K is a consonant. And my E is a vowel. And we tell ourselves when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. My first syllable is 
Rack. My second syllable is cat. Racket. What is all that racket? What is all that noise? Okay. Coming back down here. I start with two consonants. I've got my blend there, my PL blend, but I'm looking for my first vowel. My A is my first vowel. My S is a consonant. T is a consonant and my I is a vowel. So where am I going to divide? Between the two consonants, between my S and my T, and I'm going to scoop. My first syllable is P -O -A -S plus. My second syllable is T -ick. plastic. And last example, where's my first vowel? The U. My M is a consonant, my P is a consonant, and my I is a vowel. When two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. My first syllable is JUM. My second syllable is PING. Jumping. So we're looking for our first vowel and we're marking our vowels and consonants from there. What rule are we working on today? Rabbit rule. When two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. Now, let's practice reading some words. Think about where you're going to break it. Nut, meg, nutmeg. Nutmeg is a spice. I put it when I, in my French toast when I make French toast, or you might put it in pumpkin pie. Look for your two consonants. Man, tis, mantis, as in a praying mantis, an insect. This one, you immediately see your two S's right there. Gossip. Gossip. Velvet. Velvet. That's a type of material. Bass, kit, basket. You see this word that you know? Sad, din, sadden. Pub, lick, public. Bon net. Bonnet. That's a type of hat that ladies used to wear a bonnet to protect their faces from the sun. This one starts with our vowel. Here are our two consonants divide between. Index. Index. Where would you find an index? An index comes in the back of a nonfiction book, and it tells you where to find specific information in the book. So the index helps you find out where things are in a book. Nap, kin, napkin. Find your first vowel, two consonants, divide between them. Flip, Ping, flipping. Gas, get, gasket. Starts with a vowel this time. 
anvil, anvil. Rockets, rockets. Pick, Nick, picnic. Buck, kit, buckets. Here you immediately see the two T's between two vowels. But mitten, mitten. Musket, musket. Unfit, unfit. And that's un is a prefix, meaning not, not fit. Pig, let, piglet, a baby pig. Cac, tus, cactus. Goblet. A goblet is a fancy drinking glass or cup. Until, until. Good job. Give yourselves a pat on the back for reading those two syllable words. And get your paper ready, and we are going to practice writing some words with two syllables. So our first one is magnets. Magnets. We want to sound it out by syllables. What's our first syllable? Mag. So I'm going to write mag. Net. And I'm going to write. Net. Check your work. Mag. Net. Two consonants between two vowels. Magnet. Next word. Helmet. Helmet. You should wear a helmet when you ride a bike. So, hell. Net. And how did you spell helmet? H E L M E T. Hell net. Next one. Goblin. Goblin. Think about what your first syllable is. What's your first syllable? Gob. What's your second syllable? Lin. How do we spell goblin? G-O-B. Gob. Lin. L-I-N. Next word. Puppet. Puppet. We have pup, pet. How did you spell it? P U P P E T. Pup, pet. Next one. Dentist. Dentist. What are your two syllables? Den, tist. So for den, we hear d, e, n, and then we have tist, t, e, s, t, d, e, n, t, i, s, t, dentist. Okay, let's try a sentence. This sentence has one, two, three, four, five words in it. Five words in the sentence, 
and a couple of them have two syllables in them. So, it will happen at sunset. It will happen at sunset. There's your five words, so try that sentence. It will happen at sunset. Say that with me. It will happen at sunset. And if you're ready to check, check with me. If you're not, go ahead and pause your video until you are ready to check. And here we go. It, uppercase I, because it's the beginning of my sentence. Sentences always, always, always start with uppercase letters. It will, W-I-L-L, -L, happen. There's two syllables, hap, pen. H-A-P-P-E-N. It will happen at, A-T, sunset. And sunset has two syllables. Sun, set. S-U-N-S-E-T. And your period tells me that's the end of my sentence. One more sentence. This sentence has six words in it six words in the sentence. I am upset with the pollen. I am upset with the pollen. Say that with me. I am upset with the pollen. And write that in. And if you're ready to check it, check with me. If you need to pause it and finish writing your sentence, you may go ahead and do that. If you're ready, you may check now. I am upset with the pollen. I, capital letter, one, because it's the beginning of your sentence, and two, because you are special, you are important, and we always, if we're talking about I ourselves, we always capitalize I. I am, A-M upset. My first syllable was up, U-T, set, S-E-T, upset. I am upset with, W-I-T-H, the, T-H-E, pollen, pollen, P-O-L-L-E-N, and our period. And if we're really upset, we may put in exclamation point. I am upset with the pollen. You might feel very strongly about that. Okay. So what we worked on today was the rabbit rule for syllable division, because if we can break words into syllables, we can more easily read them and spell them. So rabbit rule, when two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. Tell me what the rabbit rule is. When two consonants come between two vowels, divide between the consonants. So that's our rabbit rule today. Thank you for working with me, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.